Hi, I'm Katherine Jenner, Chief Product Officer at Intelligent Ultrasound. We are a ultrasound simulation business that has been in the market for 20 years. And we're going to show you what's new this year on our simulators. What we've added on our BodyWorks Eve, which is our point of care and cardiac simulator, is needling. So you can needle with any of her normal pathology and anatomy. And what's really nice is we've added guidance for beginners. So I'm going to start with the beginner mode. So you've got a nice 3D alignment guide. So you can see how your needle's aligning. And also you can see that the needle's fairly obvious on screen and the needle tip is highlighted green. And this helps beginners understand where their needle is and they can keep track of their needle tip, which is really important. Um, then also what we've added, I'm going to go to the realistic mode. So this is if I've been practicing and I don't necessarily need as much guidance. So I'm just going to use the gallbladder even though as an example, bring up my gain so you can see. So we've got some really nice tissue deformation. You can see my needle coming in and you can see my bevel and my tissue is actually tenting as I'm passing through the tissue, which is important. And then if I wasn't completely on my needle shaft, let's say I was slightly out, if I jiggle my needle, you can see the tissue moving right by my needle tip, which is helpful to understand if you're near where your needle is. And so I can move my probe and, oh, there's my needle. Also, the bevel there is acts like a true bevel. So if I put my needle in sideways without the bevel up, I would not see the bevel tip. What's also nice about this release is we've also added um, femoral vein and artery for central lines and a virtual linear probe. So you can see we've got our femoral artery and vein there and I can actually compress my vein, which really helps understand and identify the difference between artery and vein. And then we've also added subclavian and internal jugular and carotid in the neck so that you can practice central line placements. This has been a very popular addition to our system and everyone's been really excited about getting it on their currently installed systems and for new uh, purchasers as well. This is our needle trainer product, which actually uses real live ultrasound input and an, a simulated needle overlay, which can be used for any interventional procedure. But we've recently added vascular access, so central and peripheral lines. You can see a video playing here, which helps instruct the user where to place the probe, how to position the patient. And we're just gonna skip ahead there and Sue's gonna go ahead and scan live and we're going to give a nice demonstration. So Sue's finding the, um, she's scanning the neck here. She's going to find the internal jugular vein, and you can see the carotid there and a bit of thyroid. Then she's going to be inserting the needle onto the skin. It's a, it's a retractable needle, so it's, nothing's actually piercing the skin. So this is a, a safe way to practice hand-eye coordination using real anatomy. So you could just see a little bit of, her tip there of her needle, she's using the out of plane view. So there's her needle in the, in the jugular vein there. She's a pro. Obviously, beginners will have the chance to practice this in a safe environment and get their hand-eye coordination skills before they, they go practicing on real patients. So this is a very popular product that we have. Okay, and finally, we've got our, one of our original products, Scan Trainer. We've recently come out with a medical school offering, so a economical way to get quality simulation into each hand of medical students. And what our package includes is basic skills, which has um, probe manipulation and ultrasound physics and scanning techniques. Joe's gonna, I think we'll go into what the modules have. So once you've build those foundational skills of orientation and understanding 3D scanning with a 2D display. We're going to learn about the actual anatomy and pathology. So we've got FAST, EFAST, general upper abdominal, and general gynae. So we're just going to give a quick demonstration of one of the probe manipulation exercises. And these were all built. You can see there's lots of exercises there. It runs the student through starting from the very basics that they need to understand about handling a probe, understanding how to move their probe, what they're seeing on screen and how that is affected by what they're doing with their probe. And then it takes them up, moves them through on their skill on 
aligning structures, so using your hand-eye coordination to... So what he's doing here is taking this square. You can see up in the right-hand corner, there's a, a cube within the body, and his probe is cross-sectioning it with his beam, and he's going to line it up with the outline there. And then last but not least, we have added a endometriosis module, which is a collection of cases of endometriosis. Um, I th we've got 24 cases spanning all the various uh, implantation sites and severity. And this is incredibly important. Endometriosis affects one in 10 women globally, and it takes an average of seven to nine years to get a diagnosis. And there is a massive skills gap in imaging endometriosis with ultrasound. And it's becoming incredibly important that each scanner, whether it be doctor or sonographer, understands how to identify all of these various appearances of endometriosis. And this is far beyond endometrioma. So we're really proud of this and it's been very popular. Thank you for stopping by our booth. If you want more information, you can go to intelligentultrasound.com.